In this tutorial, we learn how to change the settings of our TI Inspire calculator from radians into degrees. Now we can see here that I'm on the home screen of the TI Inspire. And let's say for a second I were to go ahead and calculate. And here I'm in the scratch pad environment. Notice that in the upper right hand corner here we have the three letters RAD. And that stands for radian. If you don't know, radians are a different way of measuring angles. And an important thing to know about radians is that when we calculate, say, sine of 90, which in degrees should give us 1, then we find that it's equal to 0 0.893997. In other words, if we're working in radians, we won't get the same results. So it's very important to know how to change your calculator settings from radians into degrees. And here's how. I go ahead and press DOC. I then go to the seventh option, Settings and Status. I then go to Document Settings, which is the second option. I click on it. And here I can see that the second option I see is Angle, and that it's set in Radian. So I click on that. I click on Degree. And at the bottom of the page here, I'll go ahead and click Make Default, as that will make sure that from now on, any new scratch pad I open or any new document that I open will be set in degrees. And I click OK. Now if I calculate sine of 90, it should give me 1, which it does. Furthermore, we notice that in the upper right hand corner here, we now have the three letters D, E, G, which stands for degrees. It's worth pointing out that in an exam room, you may be required to reset your calculator before sitting an exam. This means that it's incredibly important that you know how to change your calculator settings to get back into degrees. And there we have it. That's it for this tutorial.